What's on your mind? You came back for me? I mean, of course you did. I'm all ears. Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? I'm here, if you ever need me. The Northern Maiden is ship-shape and ready to go. Can I help you? over to the right What is it? Are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. I'm here, if you have an easy.
looking at the best navigator of the Sea of Ghosts this side of the continent. I'll find your uncharted island. Bah, how bad can it be? We've got the Diabolus loaded with cannons, not to mention my buddies on the other ships. Oh yes, they're coming too. Who? Blue hair? We're using her as an arrow sponge or what? I trust you have a damn good reason for this? Fine. She can come on board, but she's sleeping on the stern. Don't want her stinking up the ship. Alright then. Currents will be pulling us for a while. Then we'll be in the uncharted regions of the sea. You be on the lookout for glaciers, and I worry about navigating. Actually, scratch that. Just get your ass off this deck. I'm not risking having an ashen near the wheel. As you wish. You told her about where we were? If not, who else knows about us? Where we're going? Gets me thinking. Might be time to start unboxing the steel. Ugh. I'm getting a sinking feeling I won't be setting foot on land for a while. expect too much of me. I'm not getting gold out of this, by the way. True. <sighs> I got caught up in the moment. Forgot about the sailing part. What's bothering me is our crew. There's something fishy going on around here. Your friend? She's a spy. Now before you yap on in her defense, try looking at it from my angle. One very special ashen, against the odds and common sense, broke all ties with her people just so she could help you. No consequences, not so much as a slap on the wrist for abandoning her tribe. You, you need help. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? We're going to have company on the sea, and I'll be dead long before my ship falls into ashen hands. Sirens? You think that sad little group is all we have to worry about? Our mutual friend, Cordinali, isn't the skittish type. If this is how it ends for them, they're gonna throw everything they got at us. Thanks to Laylit, or whatever her name is, they'll know where we're heading. I don't care to know it. Okay, so why all the stalling? Why not just kill her and be done with it? Be honest with yourself. These people are uncivilized. They'd not keep her alive if she didn't have some sort of use. We do it the old-fashioned way, or we spare my girl the god-awful stench of ash and blood. I'm listening. Really? 
It's poison. Come on now. Until later. Quite an unsufferable man, isn't he? He doesn't treat you like a diseased animal. I've dealt with worse insults in my life. Not a good idea. Remove Dimitri, and his outcasts will know it was foul play. We need them to operate the ship. I've heard rumblings from his crew that others are coming. He's bringing other ships to the island. Perhaps the thrill of adventure. The greatest incentive for all who endanger their lives with no oath to God or a king. Or maybe he believes Sky's Divide has the answer to his own dilemma, the Ashen. Because of what you saw in the Catalyst? My kind won't be physically present at the Divide. He is going with you because he sees an opportunity to destroy the identity of all Ashen, just as the Sirens did to his. Killing what's left of Matari would outweigh the crime of murdering countless more innocent Ashen. What we took from him is long gone. He's only after revenge now, and there's no talking him out of it. I would pity him if he wasn't seething with unreasonable hatred. You'd be surprised at how many have heard her name across the sea. Matari has extended a generous hand towards my people for decades. Once they learn of her passing, they'll mourn, and they'll be lost again, to drown in the cruelty of the ages. That was in a popular missive spread throughout the Ashen Camps, advocating for the importance of Mitari as a hero and a redeemer. Never said I knew for certain the thought process he used to come to this conclusion. I can draw on experience to try and understand him. Some of that experience is horribly flawed. I'm as much as a biased source of understanding Dimitri as he is with himself. First, we'll need to assess the environment and find a trustworthy layout of the Dwemer's compound. It can't be too far removed of how we went about our investigation in the Bastion. This time we'll have living opponents to worry about, but we'll find our way. Always do. I'm more concerned about the island's natural hazards. It's dangerously close to the supposed location of Admora. Freezing weather conditions will be more unbearable than what we're already used to in Skyrim. It would be inhospitable, even for you. That isn't an option. If they're under the control of the heroes, we'll treat them as we would any combatant. If they're not, then maybe we can use them as distractions to our advantage. Something to keep in mind in case we're overwhelmed. Are you sure that's the island's calling? This one has kept a secret from her comrades for a very long time. One that you may have already been able to deduce. Eventually, she must be exposed as the violent fraud hiding behind the charming mask of self-discipline. 
The maidens delayed her execution for a reason. I wanted to see what damnable fate awaits her, and to witness for myself if she has a purpose. My expectations were confirmed. Whether she lives or dies, however, makes little difference, as even in the tragic final moments of her life, she will be useless. Cast aside all notions that she is your ally above all else. She follows out of an oath to do something she couldn't do without you. To kill me. Get some rest while you can. What for? Ah, <sighs> predictable. Uncertainty is why we delayed this for so long, wasn't it? Why we had to secure Purity's Claps beforehand? Despite everything and everyone telling us this is the only way, I'm not sure what's going to happen. This could be Matari's final trap, or Serenity speaks the truth, and this will be our salvation. Maybe both. It isn't too late to turn the ship around. I'm only jesting. But maybe you can find comfort in knowing that your remaining work will earn you the right to survive. By the grace of the gods, they won't let you leave prophecies unfulfilled. The fate of everyone else on board is left to chance. We're only here to serve the certainty of the mission. Yes. Yes, it will. Are you asking me if I believe in the Divines? I'm the farthest thing from a devout worshipper. But in times of despair, there's some comfort in turning to a higher power. Most of the time, they do not listen. And I understand. Arrogance would be to demand the devotion towards serving the needs of an ashen woman that has sinned. Part of me feels I'm only adapting to local customs. But after leaving Akavir, I eliminated as much as I could of my past life and memory. The hero and ancestor worship practiced by many of my compatriots did nothing as a soldier back home. War occupied my thoughts. When I arrived in Skyrim, there was a void. I discarded my past while neglecting a part of what I am. The Nine filled that emptiness. Enough with it. That'll be enough. Ah, it's been a while since these things were pulled out. I was afraid they wouldn't have the same kick. My sincerest apologies if we woke you. We had to bring them out and test them before heading further into the sea. You've got mercs on land? We'll rain down a fiery storm upon their stronghold. Ashen on the sea, we've got enough powder and metal to hold our own until reinforcements arrive. Ships are coming in from Blacklight and Far Run. Nothing to get too excited about. After all, we're a small bunch. Though you can rest easy. They'll be packing enough of their own arsenal to cover our sides as we spearhead the operation and cut the sea right down the middle. Damn straight. Any idea how livid my partners would be if I pulled this stunt without them? I'd never hear the end of it. Who cares? Not like we'd be living righteous lives in a palace in Hammerfell if we held out a while longer. This gives us an opportunity to see a few more ashen heads roll, and maybe even get ourselves a new ship from those thugs on the island. 
<laughs> you weren't thinking I was doing all this for you, right? Go on back to bed. Promise that the next cannon fire you hear will be the sounds of war. Woke you too, huh? and wind are bad enough, but take a look at that sky. This one's a monster. What do I need you to do? I need you to get back inside. There's a reason I had the doors locked. Go into the cargo hold and check for leaks. Hammer and board are all there. Fine. We've been through worse before. What is that? You've got to be kidding me. Damn it! Too late to dodge it. Brace for impact! You've decided to join the rest of us. You're starting to get in the way of our repairs. A blinding light. Then, no one here can tell you. We all passed out like you did. Relative to the rest of us? Oh, I'd say a quarter of an hour. Hard to get our bearings straight ever since that spiral in the sky nearly tore the ship to shreds and knocked us all out. Best that you rested up while you could after that freak storm. I've got my crew patching things up, on the lookout for friendly vessels, and snatching up any cargo that the current brings in. And as you can tell from that marvel to the north, you have your own share of work. For my crew, nothing worth crying over. You? Anything that wasn't secured in a container is lost. We'll do our best to pluck anything that we see in the water. Just don't hold your breath. It's going to take a while. Well, let's see. How's one missing Ashen sound to you? She's gone. By that I mean there's no trace of her on the ship. Gear and everything. Someone was planning a little trip. I don't need to tell you, do I? Go on. Keep reassuring yourself. She's going to turn up eventually, and when she does, some of us aren't going to leave this place alive. Count on it. Malcha. 
grab the gear I set aside for our friend here. Doesn't hurt to pack for all sorts of weather. Help yourself to the goods we've prepared for sunny locales such as this. Come to the stone shelter, Dragonborn. There is much to discuss before you advance any further into the island.